It may be the smallest of the Great Lakes in surface area, but when it comes to stress, Lake Ontario has its fellow lakes beat. That's not as surprising as many would think. And you have to remember Lake Ontario is, depending on your perspective, the beginning and the end of the system. The Great Lakes Environmental Assessment and Mapping Project conducted a three-year study of the lakes. It was based on 34 stressors in categories like climate change and coastal development. Dave White with the New York Sea Grant says it's a combination of issues that put Ontario over the top. But one of the main problems it's dealing with is invasive species. And if you think historically about Lake Ontario and the development of the Erie Canal and the St. Lawrence Seaway, many invasive species have come through those two vectors into either Lake Erie or Lake Ontario. But White says the condition of Lake Ontario shouldn't stress out the public. That's because now that stressors have been identified, steps can be taken to fix the problem. And one of those solutions is already underway here at Onondaga Lake. Water from this lake eventually flows to Lake Ontario, so cleanup efforts here will help its stabilization. White says measures like the Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement also laid a foundation for success. You have to remember if you think back to the, the 60s and the 70s when you know Lake Erie was considered extremely polluted. We have rivers that were catching fire. The lakes have improved dramatically. The lakes are in much better shape. And experts have a better idea of what still needs to be done to help them de-stress. In central New York, Sarah Blazonis, YNN.